What's up guys, it's Nina, and I'm here doing a very important topic that all the gamers are talking about and arguing about and commenting on all these YouTubers' um, videos, and that is PS4 versus Xbox One. Um, before I get into that, I'll just say something about this gameplay. It's nothing special. I just wanted to do a commentary, so I just chose this gameplay. I guess the good thing about it is that I get a clutch and I get five kills in one round that's the only kills I get in the whole entire game but it's pretty badass and we do end up winning so yeah let's get into this topic PS4 versus Xbox One I'm gonna start it off by saying this I am a neutral gamer and I like both systems I grew up with both I grew up playing the PlayStation first um, the gray box and the stupid open button would always get jammed I would hate it but that provided me letting me play um, what was it? I played Grand Theft Auto on and Crash Bandicoot and all that awesome stuff. And then I got the Xbox and there was Halo and I loved Halo. There was some game called Fusion Frenzy if you guys know about that. And I got the P PS2 and then Xbox 360 and then I kind of just left PS2. Well, I just left PlayStation after the Xbox 360 came out never got the PS3. I had played it with my friend's house, but I didn't like the controller. Um, so, will I be getting the PS4 or the Xbox One? The answer to that is both. And I'm not going to be getting it as soon as release date comes out for either of the systems because a lot of people are not going to have the money to do that. Yeah, the hardcore gamers and the spoiled kids are gonna get it but you know a lot of my friends are not gonna have it right away a lot of people I game with aren't gonna have it right away so I don't see a point in me getting it I'll be getting it after I come back from boot camp both systems and I can't wait it's gonna be totally awesome so I want to talk about the pros and cons about eat both systems what I like about it and what I like better about one system compared to the other so something I find better about the PS4 compared to the Xbox one is the price range I don't know if they changed it but I remember watching the Xbox one reveal and the Xbox said it was going out for $500 and that is a shit load like that is a ridiculously high amount and I can't believe that it's even is five hundred dollars? I mean, yeah, it's your new next generation system, but come on now, not everybody has half a grand to spend. And the PS4, on the hand, their their system costs four hundred dollars, and you know that's even though it's just a hundred dollar difference, everything makes a difference. Everything does, and I really, really enjoy that. Well, not enjoy. I really prefer the price range of the PS4. I can't talk apparently the PS4 over the Xbox One. That is a good thing. Um, the release dates for them for the games are neck and neck. I believe both of them come out in November. So that that's good. It's like for holiday season, a lot of kids are gonna get it for Christmas. Um, now something that I do like. For the Xbox is the controller. I've heard that I think they made over 20 differences. I'm probably even wrong. I think it's probably even a higher amount, but they've made over 20 differences. But yet the controller still looks like it has that Xbox touch, and if you hold it, it's still kind of gonna kind of feel the same. But yet something about it just looks like I don't know, a little bit more sleek and wow, impressive. <laughs> it's just I really like how it looks compared to the. PlayStation 1 controller, PlayStation 1, oops, the PS4 controller, there's something about it that I just do not like, and that is the little touch, the little screen on it, I think it's pretty pointless, you have this, like, okay, that's nice, I think it's a, it's an obnoxious touch, it's, I don't, I don't get the point of it at all, this is gonna make, like, I don't like the PlayStation controller as it is, so you, now you add a screen on it. It's just, I honestly think that the controller looks horrendous compared to how it used to look. I mean, it still kind of has some similarities, but it's a bit, there's a big difference to me, and I just think that the controller is ugly. Um, I also noticed PlayStation has their new camera, 
and it's kind of similar to the Connect. I've been looking at like the news articles for for both systems, and it kind of looks a lot like the Connect, and that has me like, hmm, come on, PlayStation, be original, homies. One thing I like about both systems is the designs of them. They're kind of actually almost pretty similar. It's kind of weird. It's like if PS4 and Xbox, okay, it's like if Sony and Microsoft were like in cahoots the whole time. We're like, all right, we're going to make these two systems that we're going to argue about for the next whatever years. And we're going to just dish it out and we're going to have them look almost so similar that people are going to start comparing them by the tint of black like I have heard so I have not heard but I have read so many arguments about oh well the PlayStation 4 looks better or the Xbox one looks better you guys they're almost pretty much identical it's so close to being identical that it's kind of scary like I mean not that it's scary like it's not gonna scare me but come on guys really um Oh, I just noticed that I've been talking longer than the video should be. So, peace out, guys. I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys another time.